In my opinion, this is the best comic haul I've ever shown on this channel. If you want to know what comics are in this haul, stick around and you'll find out. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics, and I got a great comic book haul that I cannot wait to show all of you that love to view other channels' comics, because if anything, sometimes it could help you remember a comic or make you know about a comic you may not have been familiar with as far as a first appearance or origin or anything like that, and it can help you improve your collection. So it's one of the, one of the reasons why I started watching other people's videos back in 2015, and uh, gave me the ability to start doing my own channel, and the rest is comic book history. So uh, this has got some pretty good keys in it, so I cannot wait to show you. As always, I do mention the price, which includes shipping and handling, so people can get a general idea of what can be purchased. And don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. If you want one of those, all you have to do is be a subscriber, and uh, don't be afraid to ask for one, because it will get it quicker for you. So with that being said, and also don't forget, I'm also selling my duplicate um, comic books in my collection in the form of mystery boxes. If you're interested in that, just go to the description of this or any video all the way to the bottom of the description. You'll see all the information, and then you can go from there. There's a, a link that you can click. So let's get this going. Uh, this is one of those books that I really found under the radar, and I think this is definitely a good book you have in your collection let me zoom in a little bit so you could see it better uh this is fantastic four issue number 65 uh this is the, the first appearance of ronin who was pretty darn good in guardians of the galaxy not so much in the miss marvel i did end up seeing it didn't pay a dime to see it and uh yeah not my cup of tea we'll just leave it at that to each their own but this Love Silver Age books, Fantastic Four, is just something to look out for these days with the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe having Fantastic Four coming in. Uh, it's going to be a while before you see them in a movie, but that's all right. That means you still have plenty of time to build up your collection. But this is one of the 12 centers. This came out, I think, around 65-ish, uh, somewhere around there. But I only paid $18.99 for this book. Um, like a 4.0 grade, probably a 3.0, somewhere around there, because there is some damage right there. A little piece missing. There's a couple of color breaks, but nothing major, and as you can see, cover presents well. Now, of course, as I go, the comics will get better, so that is the quote-unquote worst one of the group. Uh, this is the one, this is one I've been telling people to get since they mentioned the Eternals were coming out and getting their own movies. We'll see where it goes and how well it goes. But this, of course, is Eternals issue number one. I have so many copies of this book. But if I see it on a decent deal, I will pick them up because I think this has so much more room to grow. Um, hopefully the movies will be good. Well, I guess we'll have to wait a couple years to find out. But I am looking forward to it with great anticipation because, like I've said before, if they can make a raccoon in a tree do well and become popular... Um, they can pretty much do anything at this point, so I will give them the benefit of the doubt. So this, as the person says, looks to be about a 7.5. I don't think I can argue with that. Probably up or down one half a point from there. Only paid $39.99 for this book. I have so many others I paid a lot less for because I bought them years ago. But that's still not a bad price considering what some of those are going for these days. Uh, speaking of a book that's definitely seen a little bit more of an increase since the movie, uh, saw the movie, thought it was pretty good, uh, wasn't the best move I've ever seen, but it was definitely not the worst, uh, acting, especially with the other side characters, uh, not the best, but, uh, overall, I think it was still an entertaining movie, definitely warranting another movie, and I would look forward to it. Of course, this is Shazam number one. Uh, this is the first Bronze Age appearance of, quote-unquote, the original Captain Marvel since the Golden Age. This is absolutely a book to get. I bought several of these back years ago, 2016, 2017, when I was buying them for under $20. Uh, this book has definitely uh, been helped by a pretty good movie. DC looks like they're getting back on track. Let's hope they stick with that. Because, yes, I am mostly a Marvel fan, but I don't want DC to suffer because when they do when they were doing those bad movies, 
that hurts the industry as a whole. So the fact that they're going in the right direction is a good sign for me. So let's hope they continue that. But this is absolutely a beautiful cover. Uh, the colors stand out, especially that Shazam. Uh, this looks to be, because there's some rounded corners, and there's a little bit of a problem here that it looks like a pressing might fix. I would say this is probably a 7.0 to a 7.5. Um, only paid $47.99 for this book. I've seen these books going for about 90 and up at this point, ungraded. Uh, another book I bought a couple years ago. I got this one recently because of the price. This is absolutely a book I would highly recommend. If you do not have this book, get it as soon as you can. Because the first appearance, unless you have a large bankroll, you're probably not going to be able to get. And if you can, God bless you. Uh, this is... Um, Shazam issue number 28. This is the second appearance of Black Adam, Adam ever. The first appearance was in Marvel Family issue number one in the Golden Age. Uh, 1.0 is going to cost you about two or three grand at this point. So good luck trying to acquire that one in a low grade. So this is the next best issue. Uh, like I said, second appearance since the Golden Age because they only showed him once in that one particular issue. So... Um, this is going to be a very desirable book because the average person is just not going to be able to afford his first Golden Age appearance. Um, there are still heavy rumors, and it still looks like it's being confirmed. I don't think it's going to change at this point, but you never know until something happens. Nothing is 100% guaranteed. But The Rock is going to be playing Black Adam, and because Shazam did pretty well, I can probably say there's a 98% probability that this is going to go through. So I never say 100% because you never know. This is absolutely a book to get if you have not gotten it already. I have like two or three books a little, little bit higher. This is probably about a 5.5 to a 6.0 grade. Uh, but I only paid $54.99 for this book. I've seen this for over $100 in like very fine range. So definitely a book to pick up. Uh, this book, absolutely love this cover. Um, I bought it strictly for the fact with the price. It does need a pressing and a dry cleaning. Um, it does have some spots that look like they could be improved, and that will increase the value of this book. This is my second copy of Saga issue number one. Uh, there is a non-color break crease right there. There's a little bit of dirt right here that I believe a dry cleaning would be able to clean up. Another color break crease right there. So overall, it looks like a pressing and a dry cleaning could clean this one up pretty good. Uh, corners look nice and sharp. This is absolutely a great uh, series. I think there were rumors of either a TV show or a movie. This is kind of almost got like a Star Wars kind of feel to it. And considering I am no longer a fan of Star Wars, considering what they've done with it. And you're talking about a person who saw the original Star Wars the day it came out back in 1977. I could quote almost every line of the movie. Um, this might be one that could be the next best thing. So hopefully that comes true. Who knows? Um, this is definitely about a $150 book these days in higher grade. Um, it would, again, have to be pressed to dry clean to get to that status. But because it needed a pressing and dry cleaning, I only paid $65. And that includes shipping and handling. So I think not bad for a first print. Uh, make sure you get this first print. The way you could tell is the color of Saga. Second print, I believe this is in blue. And I think there's a couple other different colors. So make sure you know what you're getting before you pay for it. Uh, this is another one I would definitely highly recommend. This is the most expensive one I paid for. It's not really expensive, but considering some of the others that I paid for years ago, this is definitely a book that will be on the rise because this is another book where they were talking about a movie in the MCU. Again, until it happens, nothing is guaranteed. So keep that in mind. Things can change. You know, remember the Inhumans. It was supposed to originally be a movie. So things can change. Always remember that. But this is Marvel Special Edition, or Special Marvel Edition, Master of Kung Fu, issue number 15, first appearance of Shang-Chi, who, as of now, like I said, is rumored to be getting a solo movie. Uh, I think that's a pretty cool one to go to because, you know, they are going to be going more space, but you definitely do want some of the ground characters, and I think this one could be a different direction for Marvel to go in. So I would actually look forward to seeing, you know, where this could go. Uh, this is probably between a 6.5 and 7.5 range. Cover looks absolutely beautiful. The colors pop out. Very hard to get this book in higher grade because of the black background. Shows all the little, you know, nicks and crannies and dings and everything. But overall, this one looks pretty decent. Um, I paid $104.99 for this book. 
Um, I have about four or five other copies. One of them I paid like $3 for because I was buying these years ago. So I think the others averaged about $20 a piece. I think one I maybe spent about 35 or 40 Lower grade books, pressings will help them, but uh, definitely not going to complain upgrading a little bit better version of that book. Definitely get that if you can. Uh, this one is the steal of the entire bunch. Um, I want to give a shout out to um, the Comicaholics channel. Hopefully you'll see this because they were the ones that had a video that showed this book. Um, I was not aware of the significance, and that's one of the reasons why I love watching other people's channels. Because, you know, even if you know a lot about comics, you're not going to know everything about every single comic. And if you do, you know, you're an encyclopedia. But you can always learn things, and I learned about this book through them. So shout out to the Comicaholics channel. They do great work. Go subscribe to them. Um, if they do watch this video, please post a link to your channel so that will help people do that. But because of them, I looked this up, and I got what I consider a steal on eBay. This is the Fantastic Four King Size Special number 6. This is the first appearance of Annihilus and Franklin Richards, which is their son. Um, there have been rumors that Annihilus may be in the next movie. Who knows? Or could be used. Again, you know, rumors are rumors, so keep that. take that with a grain of salt. Uh, but with the Fantastic Four coming to the MCU, who knows if eventually they'll have the sun in there. We'll have to see. So this is purely a spec book. But this is one of those giant size books. It's very thick. So the fact that you can, well, you can't see it with this camera, but this isn't crushed. It's all completely straight. Um, it has a couple of little color breaking creases, but not many. I mean, that's to be expected in a book that's large like this. A couple of color breaking creases. Little piece right there. That's kind of got worn off. A couple little tiny spots here. little color break increase there. So I would say this is probably 4.0. 3.5 to a 4.5 range. I only paid, with shipping and handling, $61.55. This book has really been getting up there based solely on the rumors. Now, um, you know, if you want to take the chance on books like this, I always say it's better to spend less money than more money. I've seen this book going for hundreds of dollars, depending on the grade. So we'll see if that happens. All right. Now they're starting to get even better. This one I absolutely love. I am into the Golden Age books. And this one's a little bit lower grade, but I don't care because say it with me. I've said it many times. Low grade is better than no grade. Uh, this is Action Comics number 44. As far as I know, no major significance, just an early Superman book. Uh, got the, I'm not really that keen of it, but it does have the Germans with the swastika. Some people like that. Uh, not my cup of tea, but it is complete. Uh, the cover is attached. It does have a rolled spine. A pressing might help that. I don't know if I'll ever get this one graded because it looks kind of fragile. Um, I think this came out around 41, somewhere around there. I didn't write it down. But I paid only a total... Oh, I'm sorry. The cover is detached. My apologies. So um, even still, I mean, that would get... It, even if that wasn't detached with the condition of the book, it'd probably be a 1.5 to a 2.0 anyway. But I only paid $150 for this book. So in my opinion, I love Golden Age books. It's just something about the classic covers. Just different artwork. Really stands out. Very colorful. And uh, it's just something I'm very fond with. So even though this doesn't have any quote-unquote significance as far as first appearance or anything like that, I just love collecting the Golden Age books, especially like Superman, Batman, Flash, all those famous ones. All right, another book I've recommended over the years to get. This absolutely should be in your collection. This is probably my sixth or seventh copy of this book, if not more. This is Incredible Hulk issue number 180, which is the first appearance of Wolverine in a cameo. Um, to me, I don't understand why this book isn't higher than it is. I have a feeling once Wolverine is in a Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, I think that's going to change very rapidly. So this is a book that is kind of sleeping right now. It is going up, but not much compared to what it could be potentially. Um, I really think once you see Wolverine in the MCU, even in a teaser trailer or something, I mean, people are going to seek this out because 181 will get so expensive that it's going to shy a lot of people away from even affording a 0 0.5. This is the next best thing. Also, make sure it has the Marvel stamp. I did check it. It does. That's very important. Otherwise, if you ever get it graded, it will come back with the green label of qualified as, you know, incomplete. So you do want to make sure it has a Marvel stamp. 
And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I actually have a video about that. Uh, check it out on my playlist. That is definitely something to know about. It isn't in every book. All right, but I only paid $143. Again, this can improve with a uh, pressing and dry cleaning. Uh, this book, I really think, has so much potential for the future. Don't sleep on that book. Learn from the She-Hulk. These books, once they get the announcements, everybody's going to go for them. It's going to raise the price dramatically. So don't sit there and say you have time. I mean, you still have a little time, but don't wait too long. Same thing with this book. This is one I get all the time. I highly recommend adding this to your collection, especially if you cannot afford X-Men number one. Uh, this is one of the next best, best things. I mean, other than giant size X-Men number one. Uh, this is X-Men 94. This is the... Um, the, the time where the X-Men take, the new X-Men take over the franchise uh, from 93 down to like in the six, late 60s, early 70s. They were all reprints. So it was actually pretty close to just canceling altogether until Chris Claremont, um, Claremont actually helped revitalize this, this, this comic and made it into the classic um, characters that they are. Love the colors of these characters. Very popular. Um, I really think if they make the first round of X-Men in the MCU, I think they're going to use these characters. I mean, you already see Colossus with Deadpool. Um, I like the original Nightcrawler they did in the X-Men movies. I don't like the newer version. He just looks too... Um, no, I'll just keep my opinion to myself of that. I'll just say I like the original Nightcrawler they did in, in X-Men 2 much better. But uh, definitely a book to get. This is probably, like again, my fifth or sixth copy. Has a little piece missing right there. I don't know if that's bugs or maybe somebody had a stick, you know, a piece of tape gets stuck. Little rounded corner at the bottom. Same thing here. So this is probably like a 6.0 to a 6.5. Again, has future potential. Paid $228.50. Uh, that's another book that's going to continue to go up. All right. Now, this is something that I avoided for a while. Um, I had issues with the creator of this, but then I realized, you know what, it has nothing to do with the actual art. I mean, I'm not going to be marrying this creator or anything like that. So, I mean, if he's doing things that are questionable, you know, that's on him. So I saw a deal on this book. I could not pass it up because I actually do like the TV show. Looking forward to the next season when it comes out. Uh, and for the price, I could not pass it up. You know, people have the right to change their minds. Uh, this is Rick and Morty, issue number one. This is the first print. I have, I think, either two or three of this. One of them is graded in either a 9.2 or a 9.4. But um, I've seen these going for the first print, like three, four, five hundred dollars $500 ungraded. I got this, including shipping and handling, of $150. So the next season's going to be coming out soon, probably before the end of this year. And they have a couple of seasons all lined up, ready to to go, so they don't have to worry about the uh, wondering if they're going to get it re-signed or you know done again. So this is a book I think it's kind of been sleeping because they take so long between seasons. But once the next season goes on, people are going to jump back in this, and this book is going to go up. So it's always good to have duplicates so you can turn around, and sell them, and get something else, or maybe trade for something and still have the book. All right, another book I say all the time: this is a book you got to get. Um, probably my seventh or eighth copy. Anytime I see deals, I am going to continue to pick this book up. This, of course, is Fantastic Four, issue number 49, which is the first full appearance of Galactus, second appearance of Silver Surfer, first time they are on the cover. A lot of people really like this cover because of the fact that the two main characters, Galactus and Silver Surfer, are on the cover. Neither one of them are on issue number 48. So, of course, the 48 is going to be the most desirable because it's the first appearance of Silver Surfer and Galactus, even if it's a cameo. But the fact that you have this beautiful, iconic cover with those two characters for the first time on the cover definitely made this book desirable. Um, I would say this is probably between a 4.0 and a 5.0. Cover presents well. That, to me, is the most important part. I mean, honestly, I would rather have more damage on the spine than I do would like on the cover. I can live with that. So there's a little tiny piece missing in the corner. There's a couple little minor color breaks, nothing major. No rips, no tears. Definitely could benefit from repressing. And this is another book. Do not sleep on it. This is Once the Fantastic Four show Galactus, Silver Surfer, anything about the Fantastic Four, you know the next day eBay is going to double the prices of these because you know how they are with these books. 
mean, look what they did with the Naomi book. The day before it came out, people were selling it for ten, fifteen, twenty dollars more than it was supposed to. What do you think is going to happen with books like this? So again, it's another book. Do not sleep on it. Get it while you can. Even if you can only afford a zero point five, at least you could say you still own it. So keep that in mind. Um, I paid one hundred and thirty-five dollars for this book. I think that's a pretty decent price. The person himself, who I bought it from, paid one hundred and twenty-five. So only paid ten dollars more than what they originally paid for it, and that includes shipping and handling. So. Not bad. All right, two more to go. Uh, this is the second copy of this book. It's another book that can benefit from dry cleanings and pressings. And that's one thing I recommend, especially if even if it's graded, because you can always take it out and regrade it. Look for books that look like they could have the potential of improving in grade from dry cleanings and pressings, because that will just increase the value of the book and save you a lot of money. So this is my second copy of Aquaman issue number one. Again, this cover looks beautiful. I love the colors. There's a couple of little color breaks along the spine, but not major. A little bit of extra color break right at the bottom corner. There is a color break increase right there. But as you can see, the cover presents well. Uh, it looks like it might be a date or something that was written here in pen. Um, I'm not sure how much that will lower it because it's not a real large amount. So this is the first appearance of Quisp. Not anything major unless they use him in the next Aquaman movie. Who knows? But this is definitely a good um, comic to own, especially if you can't afford his first appearance, you know, because you're talking the golden age for that. So this, again, is one of the next best things. Showcase 30 is another book to get. Uh, that was what they consider the Aquaman tryout because um, he basically just transitioned from the golden age to the silver age. So um, if you could get that book, that's another one to acquire. But the movie, again, not great, not amazing, but definitely good. It was watchable and definitely warrants an Aquaman 2. And who knows, maybe they'll redo the Justice League and uh, try that all over again. So I paid a total of this book, $372. And again, it could benefit from a pressing and dry cleaning to make it even better. So I think pretty decent price on that one. All right, last but not least, this one... Um, if you watched a video I did a couple of days to about a week or two ago, you saw a graded version of this comic. Uh, it was one I was telling people that I've been trying to get since the two, 2016. And then all of a sudden, a couple of days later, I end up getting a second one. So it excuse me, took me three years of trying to get the first one in a matter of three or four days to get the second one. So that blew my mind that not only did I have one, but a couple of days later, I was able to acquire a second one. Uh, it took a little bit longer to deliver it, but hey, better late than never. As long as I got it, I'm okay. This will be one of the books I will be sending out next month to get graded. So um, I'm so looking forward to that. And here's the last book of the evening. Don't forget to hit the like button if you appreciate these videos. If you're one of the, my power viewers, make sure you indicate right here what you're seeing. And this is a pen. Nothing major, but if you write down in the comment section that you saw a pen in, in the video, that tells me you watched the entire video and proudly display your power viewership. So without further ado, here is the last comic, and don't forget to wait until the end who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. And that is my second copy of Action Comics number 242, First Brainiac. As soon as I saw, I don't remember whose channel I saw this comic on, but back in like 2015-ish, late 2015, I would probably say in December, I saw this cover, absolutely fell in love with it. With the purples and the pink and the green and the all these different colors, the, it just stands out. The purple background was beautiful. I mean, considering they're in outer space, the logical thing would be to have a black background. But the, the idea of using the purple, especially against Brainiac in the uh, front, really makes the character pop out and stand out. It's one of the better villains in the DC Universe. Now, obviously, you have Joker, Lex Luthor, um, people like that. But Brainiac is up there, um, I would say, a little bit below Darkseid. And if he ever ends up in a movie, forget it. This book is going to be out of reach. And this book already is pretty darn expensive. That's why it took me so long to get it. Because even a 0 0.5, you're talking a couple of hundred dollars. This is not a cheap book. So I would say, I mean, this one looks a little bit better than the other one. I have graded at a 2.5. But from about here, 
across on the back about that length. It must have had a piece of tape, and it ripped it completely off. So about from like here across, just a little strip of it was ripped away. So that will lower the grade. But And what happened? Oh, okay. I guess the video is longer than I thought. So I don't know how much you saw because it just shuts off. Sorry about that. But it has some rounded edges. You can see there's some parts here that um, the color break, the staples are intact. There is some stress lines here that break color. Same thing here. But again, this presents well. It's got a uh, grease pen date stamp. I don't think they, especially in lower grade, I don't think that affects it really at all. Um, I would say this book, because of that rip on the back, would probably be a 2.0 to a 2.5. Um, everything, the staples are intact and everything looks beautiful. So glad that I got this as a second copy. Maybe I can use this as trade bait or turn around and sell it. Because like I said before, I am selling some of my duplicate comics in the form of mystery boxes. Um, who knows, maybe this might be in the um, platinum package. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but um, I may hold on to it. We'll see. But anyway, I always give the price. With shipping and handling, I paid $665.40, which is lower than what I got for the graded version of this book. So um, this is a book that I'm going to be sending out to be graded. So long video. I really appreciate those that stayed to watch the entire thing. Um, if you did stay to this point, after the pen, just say you saw this lovely little nickel. Not buffalo, not worth anything, but hey, don't ask me why there's change lying around within grasp. So those are the books. I hope you watched this video to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will be so kind to hit subscribe or hit the thumbs up button. Sharing it, I would be flattered if anybody did that. And don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. Leave that in the comment section because, like I said, most people ask for them, so it means something to them. Giving them a shout out in the comment section will really make them appreciate it. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And zoom in time. Purple rain, purple background. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.